Hi guys and welcome back to the next part of my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer FPS course. Now in this part we will be continuing with our pickup systems and I do want to focus a little more on things such as devlog so I will try to finish the FPS course as much as soon as possible. So the next couple of videos will probably be the FPS course itself. In this part I do want to wrap up the pickup system and if you guys need any support Make sure you guys do join my discord server, link to that will be down in the video description. So in the last part, we set some things up with the pickup, so the widget shows up and stuff. And in this part, I want to wrap it up by actually finishing the pickup system. We also created the add item inventory function, which was the last part, I believe. So now first things first, head into your character blueprint. And we want to do a couple of things. So first things first, we don't have a reference to the player state and we'll need the player state quite a bit if we are dealing with, you know, our inventory related stuff because we have our inventory in that. So create a new variable and call this one player state ref. Uh, whoops, player state ref. And this one is going to be of type BP player state or whatever you've called it. And one more thing, head into your uh, world settings over here. If you don't see it, go to window, world settings and change your player state to BP player state. So open up your uh, character blueprint again and set the variable to be replicated. Now by default, this player state variable gets set on its own. So this one right here. So what we can do is we can check if this variable is valid and if it is valid or we could just do a validated get actually if it is valid we can go ahead and set our our player state reference by casting it to our bp player state now there is a problem with this logic so at begin play the player state variable need not be valid so this can happen when you have multiple clients this will work on a single player game if you just plug it in but for a multiplayer game, it's not going to work. So there are a couple of things you need to do. First of all, you only want to set any replicated variable on the server. You don't want to set a replicated variable on the client because it will be overwritten in the next replication cycle. So only if we are on the server, we want to perform this. And we don't know if this is valid. So what we can do is we can use a technique known as polling. So what we can do is we can collapse this to a function and we can just call this whoops didn't select any of that so right click collapse to function and we can just call this one get references and instead of just running the function as is we want to type in set timer by function name and for the function name we can grab in get references and we could set this to something very small and set this to looping and of course we do want access to the timer handle so just call this one polling timer because we are not going to have any other polling timers in our character blueprint now once you're done with that inside your get references function just to understand the flow uh, first thing before we do that uh, we want to clear the timer otherwise this timer is constantly going to be running so clear the timer once we set everything. Now this is not the only place we'll use it. In order to get other things such as the player controller and stuff, we'll use this as well. So this function is reused multiple times. We will get back to it later probably. Now add in a return node. So return node. And you can plug one in over there. Plug one in over there. And plug one in over here. Now that this should be good now. And another problem with our logic is that our pickup is running on the client because the input event gets registered on the client which is pressing the key. But we want the pickup function to actually run on the server. So we can call an RPC and we can call this one pickup server and make this one run on server and make it reliable if you wish reliable will, will just ensure that the rpc calls will happen in the order that you call them so it's completely up to you whether you make it reliable or not 
just make sure the stuff the functions you call very often things such as uh, setting rotations which you might call on tick make sure you are not using uh, you know reliable for it if especially if it's a multicast rpc so that's a waste of bandwidth so inside a pickup function the logic will not change now over here uh, there is one issue with this logic which I will get back to a bit later now we are done with this now open up your BP pickup and let's set some things up now that we have a player state reference so we can get our player state reference so get player state ref and we can call our add item to inventory function alright now the item is going to be this and there is a logical error here I just figured so if the inventory space is less than or equal to only then we want to add but over here I have put it as simply less than so change that over here because let's say we have something which takes up 100 units of space and you have 100 units of space in the inventory you still do want to be able to add it so that's the reason and inside this function as well uh, change this less than to less than or equal to pretty sure that's that's the only place where we used it and make sure you connect this to the index forgot to do this last time so connect this to the index and that's pretty much it over here so make sure you have set everything to less than or equal to and we don't want this added I have done a little bit of work over here so you don't want that added return node we'll have something else over there now in our BP character we also have a couple of things now when we get the overlapping actors we want to get this on the server actually so this is another thing so first of all we'll get the pickup uh, through the RPC that is from the server now how do I know this is running on the server that's because inside our BP pickup we have done an is server check so this is in fact running on the server if you didn't follow along try it without the is server node or you could connect one on false and maybe print something then you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to say and we do want to edit the interface as well just a little bit so blueprints interfaces bpi character now we also want to pass in the quantity that we added because uh, waiting for the next replication cycle may not be the most efficient way to do it you'll get what i mean when we actually do it so integer and some issue with it integer compile and now over here for the quantity we want to get our inventory info split the struct pin and get the quantity so this is how we are going to be grabbing in the quantity and after we add it to our inventory there is another thing we want to do so I have gone ahead and created this enumeration so that we know whether the item was not added or it was added partially or we fully added the item to our inventory so head back into your player state and we can go ahead and implement that so you guys can go ahead and right click go to blueprints uh, enumeration and you guys can create this enumeration now on the return node add in uh, call this one type or you, just to be a little more descriptive you can just call it added type so inventory added type will be the, the type of variable and we can also just pass out the quantity so quantity so make sure I spelt it correctly yes now for this one the quantity will simply be this and we want to check if this is not equal to zero and we could simply do a select over here so select so if the quantity that we added is not equal to zero which means we did add something so add in uh, added partially now over here definitely we fully added it so just get the item so 
get item now item is basically the struct which we passed inside the function uh, let me just show you guys what I mean so this item is what we are referring to this input pin you can uh, you can actually drag it uh, grab uh, the item variable anywhere it just acts like a normal local variable and break this and hide the unconnected pins just to keep things clean and this is going to be the quantity now here as well uh, we need to uh, do the same check so here it's going to be fully added and this is going to be the quantity and we can grab our uh, select node here and pass in the same thing so quantity is going to go in over here and if the quantity is not zero we want to do this operation accordingly so that should pretty much be it for this function now if you head back into your BP pickup you should be able to do switch now when we actually switch on this if it's not added there is really nothing much you want to do but if it is added you do want to update the quantity I've already created the function for that it's a pretty simple one so grab the inventory info break the struct pin and set it to that minus the added quantity so update quantity all right and one thing you want to do after you add this is going to be to call on overlap and we do have our character reference here so on pickup overlap oops make sure that's a message now on pickup overlap so for the quantity once we do update our quantity we should have access to the updated quantity which we can plug in right here and this will automatically refresh the widget for us because we have everything set up in our BP character now that we have the quantity instead of this we can go ahead and pass the quantity over here and this quantity is going to go into the interface and that should pretty much be it now technically if everything's set up correctly it should work but there's one thing that we missed I know uh, if it's fully added you can just destroy the pickup there's no reason to have the pickup actor here and since this will run on the server there's no need to actually call an RPC you could do it anyways to stay on the safer side but I won't now we don't have a visual representation for a pickup which is kind of dumb so head into your blueprints and for the model just add in a cube let's say for example I mean of course this is just a placeholder we are not going to be spawning the base class now if we head in here we get some pickup 15 uh, if you guys don't know how I got that head into your class defaults and over here under inventory info make sure you guys change some of the things so for example make sure you do change the space occupied to a value greater than zero and the quantity as well so we have two pickups now so if I go close so we have some pickup and there are 15 of it There's some pickup and 15 if I press my interact key I get some pickup 5 now if from my client if I head in here you see you get some pickup 5 now I have set the inventory space to 100 so if I just show you guys that so inventory space is 100 that's what I've set the default value as now from my client if I go ahead and pick it up the pickup gets destroyed and if I go ahead and pick it up here I should be able to pick up five more and as you can see we have 10 left that is 15 minus 5 that's 10 and it updates on the server as well and since we do have replicates movement so the position will be up to date as well and now I can't pick anything else because my inventory space is full so that's it for our inventory system guys the pickup system totally works and we will obviously show it in a widget a bit later on but this is basically how our pickup system is going to work so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did learn something new make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and make sure you guys do join my discord server and 
Also guys, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.